All right, so I've got some, I, I watched some YouTubes and got some pretty good suggestions. Um, one of the issues, this is the brand new nylon and it fits in here, but if you see, I need to figure out how to get rid of that play right there. The old one goes the same way and it's got the same maybe a little bit more play so I'll probably go with the new one the other side I did upgrade to brass because it had a, just a nylon bushing that went in there and I got a brass bushing that fits really snug in there on this side so that solves this problem but I need to come up with a way to tighten this up. So, uh, still working on it. Uh, stay tuned. So, this is the uh, piece of flashing I did several years ago. So as you see, if I put this on, we've got... And this is the new one. And we got pretty good play. So, if I install this into the new one like so and then we put this shaft on here there's no play well very very little now so I'm gonna go with that setup um, again with the new bushing and just put that in there cuz that's really tight now so we're gonna try that and a couple more things so, I was checking this gear out, uh, and everything looks good on it. If I remember correctly, probably five or six years ago, I replaced this with new. Uh, what I was looking for was some witness marks. Now, we do have a center line here, and one video I watched talked about a mark here, but it, if you look inside you'll notice that there is a one of the splines are missing so I believe that would line up with something so I got to looking at this and I was going around it and looking for something that would line up with that mark I do see some wear right here, but I didn't see other than this little spot right there. Now, in one of the videos, it said, and if I look at that, this scratch right here does line up with that. So that's telling me that this should line up just like that. So, uh, apparently this is worn because it can go in at different angles. So I'm going to have to be really careful of getting this lined up. And it doesn't feel like it slipped. It's just that maybe I didn't know about it in one of the previous re rebuilds and messed that up. So... So that's one thing I got to be careful about because it does look like it used to have something right there that would prevent it from going in at different angles. So that's getting pretty deep into this thing. All right, so I'm going to try to use my little six ton shop press and come in on this bracket and just kind of apply pressure all the way around and just see if I can maybe get rid of that gap with the bushing so we're gonna see what happens there all right uh, BFG think that solved my issue I tried the shop press 
So these are my shop press plates and I found a socket that just fits in there. Take them out. I took it outside and uh, beat on it right around here. So this is going to tell us, make sure I got the right end, and it is almost a snap fit. There. So, looking at it now, there's no play. It's, there's no play in it now. So, that. That was my other idea. I was going for a, um, I was trying to shop press. It wasn't doing anything. And I thought, well, let me go out and beat on this thing and see if I can tighten it up. I see a little bit of gap right there, but I ain't gonna worry about it because this thing is like in there rock solid now. All right, thanks for watching. All right, so even with all that new bushings and everything, I still got not as much slop, but it's I'm still not happy. You can see it shouldn't slip, but there's still an awful lot of play. You fell asleep with your sign again. The lights in the wrong spot. Not near as much, but still enough to be concerning. That's that's the best I can get it without finding something different. And those right angle gearboxes, I checked the prices on them. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we got. Thanks for watching.